So welcome back to the channel today. Today I'm here with Dr. Jonathan Simmons and we're gonna be talking about why you shouldn't use steam as an ideal gas. So you've got your first test coming up. You're tempted to put the steam in as an ideal gas and solve it that way. Why not? We hope we explain it. Here's why. Well, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a key mistake that we see time and time again in thermodynamics exams. <laughs> Students are given a question about water or steam um, and whenever they hear steam or read steam they think of a gas <laughs> because all the applications we think of steam whether the word myself i boil the kettle in the morning to make yes. a nice cup of tea <laughs> there's steam coming out of the kettle you might be on a camping trip there you go and you're cooking something <laughs> and there's steam coming off the, looks like uh, a gas to me it's right precisely so that's the that's the trap that students fall into is Steam, it's a gas, I can treat it as an ideal gas. And this is a, this is a common mistake, probably yeah. one of the most common yeah. mistakes made in thermodynamics. So we're not gonna fall for it though. <laughs> so yes, we should be very, very careful. You're given a, a, a book full of steam tables and we should use them, <laughs> as, we should use them uh, as, as much as possible rather than, <laughs> rather than using the ideal gas equation. Mistakes that students make in an exam. Right, so the, they have their first exam coming up right now uh, on Monday. And on that exam is, of course, all the steam stuff, the face changers, right? Face changing substances. Right, yeah. and so, and then the other thing is um, there's some ideal gas equation stuff on there. Mm -hmm. And so it, both things being on the same test, you know, a common mistake for students to make would be to use the ideal gas equation for steam because they can find the things that they need to plug into the the ideal gas equation in the steam tables right or the you know right i mean you can or find giving you, them in the question right yeah so you can find the things but why is it wrong to make that assumption assumption to use that you know and and even though there may be a special case where you can use that it's still a bad idea just just use the steam tables use for, your steam tables. If you're dealing for with, steam. If you're dealing with steam. So when some students think of steam, they think of a gas. But well, we use the word steam. Steam could be a saturated liquid vapor mixture. Water is a saturated liquid vapor mixture. It doesn't have to be in its superheated vapor right. phase. So it could be it could be water in any of its phases. And so the mistake that students make is they think of steam they think gas, they think ideal gas. Right. And in most circumstances, they're going to get their answer terribly, terribly wrong. Okay. So, but, so why can't you, I mean, what, what causes it to not work in the ideal gas equation? So an ideal gas is a, is a theoretical gas, and the, without going too, too, too much detail about ideal gases, um, it's assumed that the collisions between point particles are perfectly elastic and all these different assumptions. Okay. And it works for most gases. Um, so the, the lower the pressure, the higher the temperature, you're okay for most gases. Um, but when it comes to steam or water, the molecules are much larger. Ah, here um, we go. So there's sort of stronger intermolecular forces there. Um, so an ideal gas is a theoretical gas. It, it doesn't exist. It's a, it's a modeling assumption. Um, and it's, it's a theoretical gas that obeys the ideal gas law. Mm -hmm. So PV equals RT. We can use that for many, many gases, uh, particularly at high temperature, low pressure, so low density. Um, but when it comes to steam, we have to be very, very careful now, um, we can use the ideal gas equation under very, very strict circumstances for steam. So low pressures, pressures of less than 10 kilopascals, so one tenth of an atmosphere of pressure. As, you, as the pressure starts to increase, mm -hmm. then you need a larger and larger temperature to offset that increase in Okay. pressure in order to treat it as ideal right so anything regardless of temperature as long as the pressure is less than one tenth of an atmosphere you're okay to treat steam as an ideal gas so that's the rule of thumb that i teach okay any other time use the steam tables but as a rule of thumb for students taking the exam yeah. 
Use your steam tables for steam. Use, Don't please. treat it as an ideal gas. <laughs> please, please, please <laughs> use your steam tables. Don't make that mistake. You're given a, a, a book full of steam tables. Use them. <laughs> use them whenever you can. So bottom line, use your steam tables. <laughs> use your, use your, please, please use your steam tables. <laughs> okay, so we hope this helps you on your test. Don't make a mistake. Use your steam tables for those. Don't get the, it's a common mistake. It's used, it's, it happens all the time. But maybe after, after watching this, you won't do it. So thanks, Dr. Simmons, for joining us today. Thank you. All right. See you next time.